To operate the passenger lift, flick the isolator lift switch situated next to the steering wheel to ON. Turn the lift power switch sighted to the left of the tail lift to ON. The control pad operates the lift. To lower the lift, press the deploy button and the lift will lower. When it's reached a horizontal position, it will stop. Press the lower button and the lift platform will descend to the ground. It is then safe for the wheelchair passenger to maneuver onto the lift platform. To raise the lift, press the button and the lift will stop level with the vehicle floor. It is then safe for the wheelchair passenger to maneuver themselves off the lift into the vehicle. Once the passenger is inside, Press the STOW button and the lift will STOW in the upright position. Turn the lift power switch off. To stop the lift in an emergency, press the red button. To reset it, turn clockwise and lift up. In the event the lift stops working, you can raise it and lower it manually. To lift the ramp, use the pump handle provided and insert it in the hole at the back of the tail lift. To lower the lift, turn the red handle and the lift lowers to the ground. Rotate the securing bolt anti-clockwise and pull the ramp along the floor tracks. Release the securing clips on both sides of the ramp and lower the ramp using the handles. Once lower to the ground, release the two clips and unfold the remaining section. Rotate the red twist lock and rotate the anti-rattle anti-clockwise. Pull the seat towards you to release it. When aligned with the circular holes in the track, the seat can be tilted and lifted out. Slot the seat into the track, rotate the twist lock clockwise. Pull the seat towards you and click into the tracks and tighten the anti-rattle. Turn the lock anti-clockwise until it can go no further and then lift the bolt and turn once more so the pin is secured outside of the central hole. Pull the seat towards you to release it. Tip the seat back and lift it out of the tracks. Slot the seat into the track and turn the anti-rattle lock anti-clockwise. Give the seat a sharp pull to lock into the track. The top of the anti-rattle will drop into place if the seat is located correctly in the track. Then simply tighten both locks. To operate the fold-out step, press the recessed button. The steps will not release without the button being pressed. The release button works on a timer, so may need pressing again if you take too long pulling out the step. Grab each handle and give a firm upwards motion to open the hatch. To close, use the handles and pull firmly towards you. To open the rear emergency door, remove the pin, pull the handle and push the door outwards. The toolkit is located under the front passenger seat with the fire extinguisher to one side. The battery is located under the floor in the passenger footwell. The bonnet release catch is on the side of the dashboard, which is accessed by opening the passenger door. The main fluids can be topped up from under the bonnet. To top up the coolant required the removal of a plastic panel.
warning light on the dashboard will tell you if the AdBlue needs topping up. AdBlue can be acquired at any fuel station.